Oh, there you are, YouTube. So I watched the Hulu original Kid 90 today. It's a documentary produced, directed, and starring Soleil Moon Fry. You may best know her as Punky Brewster, perhaps, or may know her from the show Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I don't know. May know her from a variety of things, but this documentary has a lot of archival footage that Soleil took herself from the 90s. That's basically what it is. It's her life in the 90s, sort of making it in the business um, while a teenager during the 90s. An interesting thing is she and I were both teenagers in the 90s at the same time. The only difference is she was a teenager at the beginning portion and I was a teenager at the end portion, which was interesting because they're completely different worlds. That, I mean, I, I was like sort of the, I don't know, corn, limp biscuit era, Britney Spears, all of that. Did that get into the 2000s? When did Britney come around? But anyway, I was, you know, I was a very late 90s person when it came to my teenage years, but I very much consider myself a 90s kid, where Soleil was, you know, born in the 70s, I was born in the 80s, but we both experienced a portion of our teenage years in the 90s, which, I don't know, I it was interesting because she and a lot of the people that uh, this documentary covered are people that I grew up watching because they were just a little bit older than me, like seven years older than me, and they were my aunt's age. I have an aunt that is like seven years older than me. So it was a life that I saw, you know, through my aunt, but also through the shows that these people, these kids from the 90s, were taking these various roles that they were taking. And I'd watched the preview for this documentary. I was very excited to see it because, again, I consider myself a 90s kid. I very much love the 90s, my favorite time period that I can remember. Um, you know, I had a portion of the 80s, had 90s, you know, 2000s are a blur for some reason. I, I feel like I have no connection to the 2000s. 2010s, um, I mean, I, I guess I remember that. I don't know. When it comes to the 90s, that is the decade I have a strong connection with. It is my formidable years. But um, I guess my expectations based on that trailer, I don't know if it was based on the trailer. Maybe it was like what I wanted to get out of it was sort of, I don't know, it, it was this in some ways, but I just kind of wanted to know about the different projects that everybody, all these people that uh, she was covering, not only herself, all the projects that these people were doing during the 90s, sort of how they were getting jobs, what it was like at the parties and things like that. We were getting that, but it was a much more, and this isn't a bad thing, this was great, it just wasn't what I was expecting. It was a very intimate, personal look at Soleil's life and the individual she was in contact with, uh, the various ways the industry handled her and the other kids from that era. And it was just much more moving and emotional than I was expecting. I was just sort of expecting a nostalgia piece, which it was, but I don't think that was the approach necessarily. Um, and that's not necessarily what I got out of it fully. While the nostalgia was there, it was much more about a life, Soleil's life, and how she navigated through those teenage years in the spotlight trying to, you know, being known as Punky Brewster and, um, you know, sort of navigating away from that into her own self um, and evolving as an actor, evolving with the craft, leaving Los Angeles, moving to New York City. That was interesting. Um, I really enjoyed the LA stuff. Uh, and then when we got to New York, it was just like a very different culture. It was so strange. It was like L.A. movies versus New York movies. New York theater was just such a different world. And you could see that in the footage. Did I mention that? This is mostly archival footage that uh, Soleil had filmed herself during this time. It was like she was vlogging before vlogging was vlogging. And... 
it was just interesting to see the different cultures between LA versus New York. Everything just looks so different, right? These groups of people that she was hanging out with. The documentary was also told through interviews. We were seeing people like David Arquette, Mark Paul Gossler, who I love from Saved by the Bell, grew up watching him. That was like very cool seeing him on there. And it was interesting. He had mentioned in the documentary that while he himself was a child star, he would not let his own kids um, into, you know, the Hollywood business, right? The movie making business, the TV making business, the entertainment, all of that. Uh, because he noticed that it's not a business for children, which is interesting because he is where he is because he was a child actor, but he also, because, you know, of that, he knows what it's like. So it's, I always feel like that's a interesting concept. It's like you are where you are. The successes you have are because you were that child actor. But at the same time, because they were a child actor, they know the difficulties in it. Sure, they may be thankful for everything that they have, but is that life growing up in the industry worth it? So I always find that very fascinating when um, hearing stories about child stars and and you do sort of get that but this isn't like a child star sort of show or movie you know like Dickie Roberts or I don't I don't know it just it doesn't really like focus on that idea of the child star it really is just an intimate look at a life that took place during the 90s a teenage life during the 90s so I don't know I thought it was very interesting it was not at all what I was expecting I think it was equally good as, you know, what I was expecting. I was expecting Nostalgia Fest. It wasn't that. It was much more personal, much more intimate, much more moving than what I was expecting. I was, I don't know. There, What I was expecting was still in there, but that was not the focus, right? It was cool seeing all these Hollywood parties, seeing Leonardo DiCaprio and... Um, I don't know, just, uh, uh, other, other names. Um, but yeah, there was a lot of tragedy in there too. It wasn't just like fun. Um, at the end there is sort of an in memoriam of all the lives that, um, you know, that were lost that she, you know, grew up with all these people who, you know, didn't make it for, uh, you know, a variety of different reasons. And, um, I don't know, it was just, it was very sad, you know, lots of lives, you know, she was very young during this time and watched a lot of friends pass. I mean, that is very tough, but yeah, it is a fantastic documentary. If you have any interest in the 90s, whether it's to be hit by nostalgia or just see a life that existed during the 90s, I think it's a great documentary to check out. And yeah, I just overall think it's fantastic. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this vlog and perhaps I'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.